Hey guys, Mark Garcia from ChefMarkGarcia.com and RockstarChef.com. So I just picked up a copy of Tim Ferriss' The 4-Hour Body, uh, New York Times bestseller, just came out here second week in December. Great stuff, I've been a big fan of Tim's for a while. We're jamming to the Gypsy Kings here, we're going to turn them down a little bit. Anyways, I've been a big fan of Tim's work for quite a while. I'm actually trying out some of his protocols in his weightlifting and uh, He's got some other fun recipes in his slow carb diet. But one of the things that I saw in here that I just had to comment on, had a lot of my followers and fellow chefs and call and say, listen, we gotta show this Tim what he's, uh, what he's missing on cooking a good breakfast. So Tim, this is for you. Uh, I'm glad to hear that you're finally realizing that you don't microwave eggs for breakfast. Uh, one, they taste very rubbery, they taste very flat. Those plastic containers, I'm not even gonna get started in on what you're doing with that. Glad to see you're at least seeing, uh, using glass. But Tim, cooking eggs in a microwave is kind of like saying, if I just squeeze these grapes right now, they'll be just as good as this Quintessa wine, uh, one of my favorites from Napa Valley. Uh, technically, you could be close, but nowhere even near it. So I think you had mentioned in your cooking video that you wanted to make things easy for cleanup. One of the things that I would suggest doing, and in every town that your readers of the book have, there's a restaurant supply place. You can pick up the actual pans that we use, which are professional. I think I paid like seven or eight bucks for this thing. It's non-stick, uh, very cheap, very inexpensive, and it's gonna be much heavier quality than anything you're gonna find in one of those Bed Bath & Beyond stores. I take nothing away from them, but uh, for the most part, they're selling an inferior, thinner quality product for about two, three times much. Okay, so to the omelet you made, which I love doing every morning, and uh, we actually just started the slow carb program this week. No tortillas, that's killing me as a Texas boy. But one of the things uh, you mentioned about using the whole eggs, whole organic brown eggs, I love using those. We also have, uh, I made up a little bit of pico de gallo here. That's basically onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of lime juice. You can buy this store-bought. I know in your video you had a salsa from the uh, unnamed grocery store. Clearly fresh. Our chefs are all about fresh. Jalapenos, I like adding a little bit of mine in there. I love doing some avocados as well. I've got some different seasonings. Now, you mentioned doing a little bit of whole butter. I'm very, very, very partial to Palugra. I've been using it most of my professional career. One of the favorite ones I love. Kerrygold, you mentioned, is good as well. I also don't mind using olive oil. And, and I gotta tell you, I use a nice uh, virgin olive oil. Costco, they got the best deal in town. You can buy two quarts of an extra virgin or virgin olive oil for about 15 bucks. Uh, great deal on it. It's, it's pretty amazing. I use it for salad dressings, use it for a little bit of everything. So actually, in today for the omelets, I'm going to use a little bit of butter and olive oil. More just for flavor. Also, I'm Mediterranean. That's one reason why we're listening to the Gypsy Kings. I'm half French, half Spanish. So I like a little bit of olive oil. French, Spanish, Italian, it doesn't matter. I like a little bit of that in my cooking. So I took some of the fresh, organic brown eggs, and they are pastured, which means the hens get to roam around free a little bit. Uh, scramble that up. I'm going to put in a little bit of fresh pepper. Again, you can buy these uh, fairly inexpensively in any kitchen supply place. I'm also going to put in some, uh, there's a new seasoning company I'm working with here in town. I'm putting in some chipotle and some hatch green chili garlic salt. Again, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Got some of the beans that you recommend. Uh, I'm going to chop up some of the avocado here in just a little bit. Pan's nice and hot. Now again, the thing with eggs, I'm gonna make these scrambled. You can do them over easy, you can do them over medium, whatever you'd like. The trick of doing these at home is you don't want a smoking hot pan. Now when we're making omelets professionally in the kitchens, you know, Sunday brunch or in a breakfast place at a high busy restaurant, we'll usually have these pans smoking, smoking hot. But one of my good chef mentors and, uh, and someone who I consider a new friend, Gordon Ramsay says uh, one of the ways he tests his new chefs is by having them go in the back and make scrambled eggs for them. So you can see I started out at high heat, but I'm really letting these things uh, cook up over kind of a medium heat now. I'm not trying to finish the thing in 15, 20 seconds. I'm just kind of moving around. By the way, high heat spatula, this thing won't burn. Buy them at a good restaurant supply place or even Williams Sonoma. Uh, they're worth the investment. They won't burn in the pan and they'll last you quite a while. So you can see the curds are just starting to kind of come together there. I'm still stirring, kind of breaking that all up a little bit. The reason I'm doing this is I want to gently cook those eggs. I don't want them to become rubbery, much as what happens in the microwave. Uh, as much as we sometimes use the microwaves in professional kitchens, it's really kind of a quick, uh, you know, we're maybe doing something with veggies, trying to heat up something real fast. 
But for something as nutritious and fun and delicate and pleasurable as scrambled eggs, um, I wouldn't use a microwave. Again, you go back to my wine analogy that I'm doing. Okay, everybody likes their eggs done different ways. Some like them super, super dry. Uh, my daughter tends to be one of those ones that likes them super, super dry. I kind of like putting in a little bit of the curds in here. And you can see I pulled this off the heat. You can see how fast that was. I'm just moving that around. Now at this point, you could add in cheese. Uh, we're not going to in this recipe because I'm in the first phase of the slow carb meal plan. Shut my burner off. And those are still going. I'm going to put in some of the beans. Here I've got the red kidney beans. You recommend canned. I actually made my own. Uh, here in Texas and the Southwest, we're pretty used to making beans. So it's not something we have a problem with. Soak them overnight, cook them over medium high heat the next day. I'm going to put in a little bit of that pico de gallo that I made up earlier. Now again, at this step, you can put in some cheese, uh, whether that be a nice cheddar, a great Mexican, cotija would be great in here, uh, even a Greek feta. Greek feta gives it a nice one. And I know that on the first initial phases of the slow carb plan, you typically try and stay away from dairy. But you know, a half teaspoon in the morning is going to go a long way. All right, so Tim, clean up. I'm actually going to put this right on a plate. My pan, since it's nonstick, I'm simply going to wipe out real quick under some warm water. That's the only dish that I uh, used. Obviously, for the video, I've got some showcase things here. But I wanted you to show how quick and easy it is to make eggs on the stovetop. Take your time with them. Don't be in a hurry. Uh, the microwave, not so good for eggs. And very easy and simple to clean up. Guys, again, I'm Chef Mark Garcia, ChefMarkGarcia.com and Rockstar Chef. And I'll see you on the next recipe in the kitchen. Take care.